Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectre team. And in this video, we will be creating a new page from scratch and adding it to our navigation. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist, which you will find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, in order to help you complete this project, you find the link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now, this course is free and even if you don't have web hosting, you can either use ZipWP or use a local solution like Local by Flywheel, for example. But if you want to take your website to the next level with awesome features like advanced animations, Instagram integrations and much, much more. Consider using Spectra Pro and of course, you find a link in the description below. Now, like I mentioned, you can complete the course project with free tools alone. And what we're going to do in this video is no exception. But as a bonus in today's video, I will also show you how to enhance your website with Spectra Pro. So ready? Let's dive in. So in WordPress, you want to go to pages, add new page. Let's call it testimonials. And next, let's click on the eye icon so that we can hide the title of our page. Next, you want to click on the Astra icon in the top right corner. And where you see container layout, you want to select the full width option. Next, you want to click on the plus sign in the top left corner and click on container. Now we're going to select this one here with the two sub containers. And next, let's click on the document overview. We're going to rename our containers for organization purposes. So if I expand the main container, you can see we have two sub containers. So open the course files and locate the text subfolder. And we're going to open the 04-testimonials text file. So our main container is going to be called testimonials. So let me copy this. Then let me go back, click on the first container, three dots, Rename, paste, and save. Now, let me go back to my text file and this time let me copy testimonials left. Then select my first sub container, three dots, rename, paste, and save. Now, back in my file, this time let me select testimonials right and copy. And you know the drill now select the container, three dots, rename, paste, and save. All right, so let's start with our main container. So if you get this, the paragraph block, you can delete it. So three dots and delete. And now with my testimonials container selected, first of all, I need to go back to my Spectra information. So right now, if you recall, we are in the Astra settings. So we're just going to click on this icon here. And there you go. So let's close the container type subtab and let's open the layout subtab. And where you see align items, you want to pick the first icon, flex start. Next, let's click on the style tab, background. And for the tab, you want to select the first icon, then click on color and let's select color number nine. Now let's close this. Let's close the background sub tab and let's open the spacing sub tab. And where you see padding, you want to click on the link icon to unlink the values. Then you want to give it a top value of 60, right of 40 pixels, bottom 120 pixels for the bottom and 40 pixels for the left value. All right, now let's select our testimonials left sub container, then go to the general tab and where you see minimum height, you want to change the unit to VH and give it a value of 70. Next, click on the style tab background, color, and for the color, we're going to choose color number five. Now let's close this. Let's open the spacing sub tab. And for the padding, you want to give it a value of 40 pixels all around. Let me hit publish now. Next, click on the plus sign and we want to add a heading block. Now, if you don't see it, you can just type in the search field, start typing heading. As you can see, we have two here, one with the black outline. This is from WordPress core and one with the blue outline from Spectra. And this is the one we want. So I'm going to click on it. Then back in my course files, I'm just going to copy this label and replace the text here. Next, with my heading selected, I'm going to go to general and where you see alignment, you want to click on center. 
The heading tag in this case should be set to H1. Next, go to Style. And for the heading color, we want to select color number 6. Next, click on the Typography icon. And let's give it a font size of 40 pixels. Now, scroll down to where you see letter spacing. And let's give it a value of 1 pixel. All right. So, still with my heading block selected, I'm going to click on the plus sign here in the top left corner and click on image block from Spectra. Next, I'm going to click on media library and we're going to select this image here. Next, click on select and with our image selected, here you see image dimensions. We want to give it a width of 37 pixels. Next, still with our image selected, once again, click on the plus sign. And in the search field, you want to start typing testimonials. And as you can see, we have this block from Spectra. So just click on it. And next, go to General, then to the General sub-tab. And where you see number of testimonials, you want to change it to 1. Then click on the Image sub-tab. Click on the plus sign. And we're going to select this image here. Next, click on Select. And now it's time to change the content. So here is our first testimonial. So let me just copy that line, select my text here and replace it. Now the name doesn't change, but let me copy the profession and location. Then select the text here and just replace it. Next, still with my testimonials block selected, I'm going to go to style. And then where you see the name sub tab for the color, I'm going to select color number two. Then click on the typography icon and I'm going to change it to 15 pixels. Now, let me close this. Let me close the name sub tab and let me open the content sub tab. Now for the color, I'm going to pick color number six. And next for the font size, I'm going to change it to 17 pixels. Now let me close the content sub tab and let's open the company sub tab. Color should be set to color number nine. Now let's close this and the font size should be set to 14 pixels. All right, let's save to save our progression. And now let's move on to our second sub container. So here is our second sub container and let me open the document overview. So it's right here. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to add additional sub containers. Let me show you. So here I'm going to click on the plus sign and hit container. So visually, you can't really see it, but here in the document overview, you can see we now have a sub container. So let's rename it. I'm going to copy testimonial right top. Let's click on the three dots, rename, paste, and save. Now let me close this and see as I click it, change the focus. So make sure you select testimonial right top. Next, click on the general tab and where you see minimum height, you want to change the unit to VH and then give it a value of 34. Next, click on the style tab, open the background sub tab and for the color, you want to select color number one. Now let's close this and let's open the spacing sub tab and where you see padding, you want to give it a value of 40 pixels all around. Next, you want to click on the image in the left container here click on the three dots and hit copy. And then here we're going to select paragraph, right click and paste. Next, we want to copy the testimonial here. So with the testimonial block selected, click on the three dots, hit copy. And then here I'm going to click on my image, click on the three dots, add after, and basically it's adding a paragraph block. And then I'm just going to right click and paste. So next we need to change our content. So I'm just going to copy the text from here, select my text and replace it. Now let me do the same with the rest of the content, copy and paste and copy and paste. Next, let me click on the general tab, image, change image. And let me select this image here then click on select. Next, click on style. Let's open the content sub tab, typography, and let's change the font size to 15 pixels. 
Now let me close this. And now first let me collapse this. Let me collapse this also. And where you see testimonial right top, click on the three dots and hit duplicate. And right away, let's select the duplicate, click on the three dots, rename, and let's change this to testimonial right bottom instead of right top and hit save. Now click on the style tab, background sub tab, and for the color, this time we're going to select color number four. Now let's change our content. So let's copy our text and replace it. Then the name, copy, and let's replace it. And the profession and location, let's copy and paste. Now let's go back to general, image, change image, and let's pick this image here. Then hit select. All right. So let's save and let's preview our page. And there you go. Looking beautiful. But now let's spice it up a little bit. So first, let me select my testimonials left container then go to advanced animations and let's choose fade right. Now let's select the testimonial right top container animations. And this time let's select fade left. And last but not least, testimonial right bottom, advanced animation. And this time let's select fade up. Click on save and let's preview our page. And voila, awesome. And in a moment, I will show you how you can enhance this even more. But for the time being, we have another issue because the page is beautiful, but how can we access it from the navigation? So let me show you. So in the admin bar, I'm going to hover over the name of my website and click on menus. And if you start it from the dashboard, you go to appearance menus. Now make sure the correct menu is selected. If I click here, I have two menus, the footer menu and the header menu. So you want to select the header menu, click on select. Next, in the most recent, you see testimonials, but if you don't see it here, click on view all and you will see your page here. So let's click on testimonial and click on add to menu. And now we can drag and drop it anywhere we want. So I'm just going to place it between services and contact and click on save menu. Now let me go back to my website. So I hover over the name of the website, click on visit site. And now as you can see, testimonials has been added to our navigation. So if I click on it, it's taking me to the page as it should. Now, as promised, let me show you how we can use Spectre Pro to enhance our animation. So let's go back to our dashboard. First of all, you want to go to plugins, add new plugin, click on upload plugin. Next, click on choose file. Next, select the Spectre Pro zip file, click on open and click on install now. Next, click on activate plugin, paste your license key and click on activate. All right, your license is now activated. Now let's go back to pages, all pages, edit testimonials. All right, so first of all, click on the document overview icon. Next, expand this and expand the testimonials right container. Next, click on the testimonial right top container, then go to advanced animations and where you see animation delay, you want to give it a value of 300 and we're talking in milliseconds here. So 300 milliseconds, then let's select the testimonial right bottom container. And this time let's give it an animation delay of 600 milliseconds. Next, click on save. And now let's preview our page. And voila, as you can see, we have more control on the animation itself. Now, for the sake of this video, I kept it simple, but we have more animations like the flips, slides, zoom in, zoom out, and even more settings like the animation easing, for example. Now, as a reminder, this is what we get with the free version of Spectra. So let me refresh. So it's looking beautiful. It's just that everything happens at the same time. And now let's take a look at the pro version. So let me refresh. And as you can see, we have more control on the animation. Now, enhanced animations are only one of the many features of Spectre Pro. So if you're interested, you find a link in the description below. So as you can see, creating a new page from scratch and adding it to your website navigation 
is super easy. And in the next video, I will show you how easy it is to add a blog to your website.